Hi everyone, Glenn Lentz here again. We're gonna go for another walk. This time I thought I'd show you guys where I grew up and where I used to live in the three houses in Neosho, Wisconsin. And uh, right now I'm on the corner of Indian Road and Harvey Road. Harvey Road is where my first house was. The first house that I remember living in as a kid. I, I guess we lived in an apartment in Watertown when we were really young. I don't remember that because it was way too young. But yeah, we're gonna go for a walk down this road. I had down memory lane too, so. Hi. Yeah, my son's here with me. I'm way up in the air so you can't, I, so you can't see me. Well, I'm seeing you right now. I have an interesting story about, about this road, about Indian Road, which I'll get to later. That brings back memories too, it's just been so long out here. I always loved like these little like like pond type things on the side of the road. I'm trying to find frogs right now. I don't know how many frogs you're gonna find, but they're probably all hidden. They're probably all hidden away in that green shit. Now this summer whenever I mow the lawn I'd come down here and feed some of my food grandma would give me with the, the fish in there. There's some food. Grandma would always give me food for like mowing the lawn and stuff. Ooh. For a few bucks for mowing the lawn, I'd just come down here and feed some of it to the to the fish. And my turtle that lives in there. One of my, my my other turtle we used to have back in Hartford. I let him go in there. What if you found him again in there? I don't think I'm gonna find him. No, I hope not. There's a tin can in there. Coming up on the old homestead, the first place I ever lived in. Well, as a kid. Very covered up by trees. My family always loved places that were covered in trees. Can't say that I blame them, I always loved it too. It was fun to play out in. Out in a woodsy type area. Even as an adult, I'm still doing shit like that by filming out in woods and stuff. There's a garage back there. I don't know if you can see it. I got clear from the sun, but... My dad was an auto mechanic. And he started his business right there in that garage. Worked on cars to support our, our family. It did a damn good job of it too. <clears throat> so many memories at this place. Actually, really, I, I miss it a lot. It's one of these places that I always it always felt like home. Had a huge willow tree. Even to this day, I still miss this place. I still kind of remember playing in the yard and stuff. They did a lot of work to it over the years. You know, they made a lot of changes. There used to be a huge window on that side of the house that I used to look out at night. I used to pretend it was like uh, the Starship Enterprise and stuff. There's a big tree in the yard I used to play by too. That one right there. I actually crashed my bike into it once. This triangle right here, where I used to sit and wait for the bus in the morning. Remember there was a time over there, where, uh, right in front of the garage. My dad had some like wood pallets sitting outside. And I had my little Rambo tricycle, I was riding it down the driveway. And I crashed into that pallet and a piece of wood like went right into my stomach and like cut me open. I didn't, it wasn't like bad, I didn't need surgery, but I was like traumatized from it. And I started crying and I was upset and... Is that a Rambo bike? I had a Rambo tricycle, because Rambo was huge back then. 
I can't really make out the the borderline to this place, but there's a farm over here. There's a farm. And the cows used to come up to the fence line over here by these pine trees. And Grandpa Allen used to take me and hold me and go look at the cows. And I remember each cow had like a tag on its ear. When I was a kid, for some reason, I thought those cows were for sale. And I told Grandpa Allen, like, oh, this one's like a hundred bucks. Or something like that. And he just kind of laughed about it. I don't remember the backyard too much. I kind of wish I could just walk up there and go look around, but... Someone else owns the property now, so... Yeah. We keep going down this road. That's where the third house I ever lived in is, and it's way covered in trees and stuff, so I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but I do have pictures, so. Yeah, it kind of sucks I gotta keep my distance from this place, because I really, I really would love to go look around again. After all these years of, you know, 20, when, when did we move out of there? I think it was like four or five years old when we moved out of there, so. Close to 20. Imagine if you found one of your things there from when you were a kid. A Ghostbuster toy, yeah, I'm not gonna find that, but. Yeah, my, my room was up there, one of those two rooms. I think my room was the window to the right. Because someone else owns this. Would you like it if just someone else came into our house and said, oh, I just want to look around? Yeah, I really do love it out here, though. Sometimes I miss living this deep out in the country. It's getting windy. I don't mind living in Houston for where we live now, but I wish we... I miss living out here way deep into the country sometimes. Especially since, you know, living out here you don't hear fucking cars go by all the fucking time. Or if I want to film something there isn't like tons of traffic going, you know, everywhere. Like on Highway 60 where we live, there's just tons of traffic all the fucking time. It's hard pulling out of our driveway because I'm always scared I'm going to get hit by some fucking crazy driver nowadays. People drive like fucking morons nowadays. And it's weird because car insurance is mandatory. Now you'd think people would be trying to drive a little bit safer, but nope. story I was going to tell about this road though, it was always funny, once we moved to the third house that we lived in, here on Harvey Road, I used to come down here when I first started learning how to play guitar. I used to come on this road, park my car, by like these like marshy areas, and I had like a battery operated guitar amp, but I used to come down here and play my guitar all the time. And that's uh, part of how I met one of my oldest and best friends, Sarah Kutsky, she lived down this road. If you kept going down that road, her house was eventually down that way. And she had like this old, really, really, really old car sitting in the driveway. I don't know if she's still, if her dad still got it up there now, but. So yeah. <laughs> so Sarah, if you're watching this, hi. Good times. I, I, I still love you, you're awesome. I'm still glad that we talk once in a great while. But yeah, I just. Thought I'd throw it in there because that's one of the memories I kind of hang on to. It was a fun time in my life being young and learning how to play guitar and meeting people and all that stuff. So, we're gonna go look at the second house I lived in now. So, let's go. Right now, we're gonna go look at the second house that I ever lived in. So, let's go up Highway MM. We're gonna go back to Highway 67. I thought these, the, the rock sides of this the hill were awesome. Did you here? No, I mean, I, I rode my bike up here. That's a hell of a hike when you do that on your bike. 
you're out of you're out of air by the time you reach the top of this. But going down. This used to be like a bus route too for when I used to go to high school. So the bus used to take me this way. The high school and the Osho school, I think. Or now it's Honor Elementary, that's where you go. mm and it turns into 67. If you go that way, you can go to Oconomowoc. If you turn left, it'll lead back to my house. Or my second house. I don't know what that guy thought, because I got him on camera, the guy in the truck. Bike down that road too. Yeah, the second house I lived in out on Highway 67, there's people sitting outside. I want to try to avoid any awkwardness. You know, it's gonna be awkward a guy in a flaming Taurus going past the house and filming it. But I turned around and now I'll show you the second house I used to live in. I was like slowly camper out or something. the second house I ever lived in there's people outside which kind of sucks but, uh, that's the shitty thing about all these properties is that there's people inhabiting them now that are you know other people live in them I don't have any right to like be out there or anything like that anymore so. we're gonna go back to the, the third house I ever lived in it's one of the roads I used to ride my bike down to go see the third house I ever lived in. So this was after uh, my parents had the house on Highway 67 for a while and then they decided that it wasn't good enough. My, I don't really know the whole story. My mom or someone wanted a new house and they, they went with Steenberg Homes to go look at a new home. So they, this was a vacant piece of property up, up here. It's all obstructed with trees and stuff now but there's this huge long driveway I used to walk up and down. Uh, when I was, you know, waiting for the bus, I had to get on the other side of the road to the truck coming with a camper. Um. Yeah, it was a vacant lot. There wasn't anything up there. My dad bought the home from Steenberg Homes and had it put up there. I, I remember it being like really, really long and strenuous, and uh, dad getting pissed off a lot <laughs> during that time period. And, uh, but it, I think it all went okay. Dad later put a shed up there so he could continue his car, uh, his car repair business. See, if you look up there, it's all obstructed by trees now. Pine trees and these like tall trees right here. I remember playing up there. Yep, my grandpa Alan we used to live up there up until, what, about five years ago maybe? Four. Yeah, you used to be able to see the house and I can't see anything. But all, all the trees in this driveway, I don't know, like all these trees, these huge trees now, like all these pine trees right here, me and the, uh, Aunt Jess and Grandma Kathy, all of us planted these. That's when I was like 12 or 13. So we each dug holes and planted all these trees in there. Looking back, I'm surprised that we 
I mean, Grandpa Allen always did, you know, he was always upper middle class, so he was able to afford quite a bit off the car repair business, but man, that is a lot of fucking trees. I'm actually, I honestly hated that at the time, that I had to do so much work and that they always wanted me to help out, but I'm kind of uh, glad they instilled that kind of work ethic in me because it, it's what kept me working at a job to support you. Instead of people nowadays that think they're all entitled to shit even when they don't work. Which is a completely different subject than what I'm going off of, but now I'm talking about people on welfare and shit. This is what's interesting. The people that live here now, they have a bunch of beehives. They must like raise bees and make honey or some shit. My son is so timid, I don't think he's gonna come over here to look at that, but I wanted to go look at it. Can go look? Here, come here. Why don't you stay here? There's actually one right there. He's trying to get away. There's a bee on the ground. I'm not gonna kill him because that's someone's honeybees. That's so cool. They got bees. No, he's like pretty much dead. I was thinking about driving up there and then filming it and then turning around right away and then leaving. Just so you can see the house, but I do have pictures of the house too and what it used to look like way back when I used to live in it, so. Harvey Road. I really do love, like, I do love the countryside. It was really awesome living out here. If you keep going down that road, my grandma's house is down that road. <laughs> the guy who owns the place now is outside mowing the lawn, so it was kind of an awkward thing when I told him I used to live here and he was really cool about everything, but yeah, I don't think I'll be going into people's driveways anymore. <laughs> but anyway, that, I'll show you pictures of it anyway. It looks, the house looks totally different now. They just totally redesigned it, but I spent a lot of years in that house too. Got good memories of that house. I used to play all my old video games there, play with my Power Ranger and Ghostbuster tool in case. We keep going down this road. Yep. Harvey Road ends on Highway MM. Go to the left, my grandma's house is right in there. And I'm gonna be filming more stuff there too for my the, uh, YouTube series that I'm doing. You do have to film Mario and Luigi. Oh, Connor, Jesus. Yeah, and there's my grandma's house. So my family has pretty much lived in this the Neosho area for quite some time. Pretty much my whole life, actually. But I, I love living out here. Uh, like I said, I don't mind living in Houstonsburg, but you know, I kind of miss living way out in the middle of nowhere where you got more privacy and more of the solace of being out in the middle of nowhere, I should say. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed looking at where I grew up. I didn't get a good glimpse of the second or third house that I lived in, just mainly the first one. But it doesn't matter anyway. Each house was really awesome. I loved living out here in the country. And it gave you a kind of a glimpse of what kind of person I am and where I, where I grew up and originated from. I might be a nerdy metalhead type guy, but still kind of a country boy type person at heart because I love being out here and I love the fishing and I love target fishing. practicing and stuff. So I love fishing. Yeah, I'm Glenn Lentz. Go watch one of my other videos. I'll see you next time.